actually took his index finger and did that. It's in the heart of Georgia. I did not take offense to that. What happened next is absolutely unbelievable. He then grabs my left breast, and I'm going to go into great detail with you, grabs my left breast, squeezes it, and rubs on it in the heart of Georgia, in the heart of Georgia. I was so angry with myself later because I didn't slap him, I didn't kick him. I was absolutely frozen. Thomas then turns back around, had to literally take his hand off of me and push him off. There were two women. I mean, literally, there were people at the table who saw exactly what happened. At first, he said he didn't do it. Then he said, you know, he didn't remember. It just went on and on and on. And I thought I was fine. And this is a part, I'm going to be very personal and very transparent, Ashley, because we've gone back for a long time, and I want people to understand the gravity of this. I thought I was fine. I went home. Then Wednesday, I went back to a dinner. I don't want, I didn't want him to drive me into hiding or into a hole. And I thought I was still fine. Wednesday night, I went to that dinner. Thursday morning, I could not get out of bed. And you know me, you know me for a long time. I pride myself on being a very strong woman. Ashley, I was crying uncontrollably. My assistant then, who had been with me for some 12 years, had never seen me like that. With all the tragedies and things I've had in my life, she'd never seen me quite like that. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Rechaha Kwadash, and double honors to the elder apostles and elder bishops of Great Millstone. Salute and honors to you, other elders. And you brothers, you Akim, you fellow believers of this faith, you Akwaf, you few sisters, and Shalom to the hopeful elect. I want to go into this video a brother sent me um, with this video. And I kind of looked at it and I said, well, I can make an edifying video of the Lord's will. But this woman is named Judge Hatchet, if I'm not mistaken. She's actually a lawyer and plays a judge, has her own court show. Now, anybody who understands the setup, let me say that, of Hollywood, you kind of can put it together. She just recently lost a loved one in Cedars Sinai Hospital, as we see happen a lot in that hospital. And now, uh, I think a daughter in law or something like that. And now, um, this sheriff, the sheriff comes up and gropes her. Now, what I got out of it, as I was looking at it, I said, okay, and I, I think what sparked me to do this video, she said, when this sheriff done this, she was froze. She couldn't believe it. She was in shock. Right? She just couldn't believe that this sheriff would do something like this. And the other whoever bail for whatever had to hit his hands off of her now and I wonder if that was a Jake <laughs> uh, a so called black man that did that I wonder would the billy clubs had flew would the, the scratching began the fighting and how much time would this man gotten or, or Jake would have gotten this man I believe got a year probation some suspension I believe that didn't even happen and a five hundred dollar fine for walking up, groping a judge. If Babylon ain't on the decline, I don't know what is. This is how bad it is, and Bab daughter of Babylon. What I mean is this place we are in today. Now we can see, as Isaiah fourteen speaks, the pomp is brought low, down to the ground, and the um. The worm spread under thee, meaning the pomp means the excellency of this place. There, there is not even respect for the so-called judges, made up ones I don't know. But you can see there's no respect 
in Babylon. No morals in Babylon. And then all the women, all the Eves, they're now complaining. They're saying, well, it's, it's the color of our skin. Is this? It has nothing to do with the color of your skin, but everything to do with your nationality and who you are. Because Africans are black too. Hamites are black too. So-called Arabs, uh, Ishmaelites, and the rest of them, they're all black too. So it has nothing to do with that. It has everything to do with your nationality. And uh, 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 Jacob and Adumia, right? And they all got these complaints going on. That this is wrong. That this is because of our blackness, right? But the promotion is to be with this ex ex example. You know what I'm talking about. That's the promotion. We can't find love anywhere. So this is what we do. Man, th this is a small fraction of what's coming. Let's get a scripture. This is a small fraction of what's going to hit down your way. Let's go to Deuteronomy 28 and 29. And thou shalt grope at, <laughs> at noonday, and the blind gropeth in darkness, not being able to grab and get what, you know, to, to conceive anything, right? And thou shalt not prosper in thy ways. So in her mind, she felt like, I'm a judge. I set up the highest standards in upholding the morals of society and this country and the stand and the stand for its laws. Or she's a lawyer. A lot of them are not really judges. But she upholds the standard the standards of the society. And we can clearly see how the manipulation comes in with somebody of authority can do, say, and touch. And it has zero accountability. So you can kind of see, Eve, you're getting what you put out. You and you wasn't held accountable for all your actions. He's not going to be held accountable for his actions. But according to the Lord, all y'all going to be held accountable for your actions. Okay? Thou shalt not prosper in thy ways, and thou shalt uh, be only oppressed and spoiled every more, evermore. And no man shall save thee. No man shall save thee. Right? No man shall save thee. Jeremiah 4.22 For my people are foolish. They have not known me. They are sottish children, meaning habitually drunkard. Right? Meaning drunk off philosophies. You get people who get these degrees, they get these entitlements, and they believe even in high genres of society. Uh, of society. But you still have to play a role. See, a lot of people, well, a lot of people are waking up. There's still a level of play that you must conform to. It ain't what you see and what you believe on that, what you see on TV. There's a lot that go into um, having a form of popularity in this in the system. There's a lot that go into fame and challenges let me say that there's a lot that go into that it ain't as simple as one two three right this guy Terry Crews he's get, he got groped I didn't hear anybody say I didn't hear the woman say oh the black man is being disproportionately used because of his black skin they never say that about us. They only say that about the woman. But in my belief, they all know what's up. It's just not supposed to be in the public. That's my belief. They all know what's going down. Terry Crews knew what was up. That's what I believe. Through the spirit, I believe it to be true. He knew. It's just the man approached him at the wrong time. And the wrong hour. And probably the wrong day. <laughs> Let's go to Genesis 3. Now the serpent was more subtile than any beast of the field. Which the Lord uh, Yahweh have made. Right? To tell you right here. The Lord made everything. And he said unto the woman. Ye have God said. Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden. 
And the woman said unto the serpent, we may eat. Uh, it says, woman said unto the serpent, we may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden. But the fruit of the tree, which is in the midst of the garden, God said, ye shall not eat. Neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. Right? And we're going to get a scripture coming up on that. And the serpent said unto the woman, ye shall not surely die. So here we're telling Eve through the spirit of the Lord, if you don't get right, this is what's going to happen. You know what they're saying? Nah, you know, I got to get that money. I got to take care of my family, my children. Hey, I'm not making no sacrifices. For God does not know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was pleasant to her eyes, to the eyes, and that's what you see with the degrees, right? With the, the wealth, the cars, right? The push button, push starts, the 20 inch rims already manufactured. Don't worry, you don't need a man. Car breakdown, we got triple A. We got some servants that's going to come and fix your stuff for you, right? Don't worry. Something happens to your home. We got special people with finance programs that can come fix your refrigerator or whatever. Totally taking the need of what they should have away. It is unnatural not to need. We need the Heavenly Father. Right? We need Yahweh Shah and Yahweh. Yahweh, Yahweh Shah. We need each other. But they're taking a natural use away. Or what you should have. And you should have a Jake there to help and support. But this is what society has pushed. You don't need them. We got you. We can get you all your accommodations. And you can have sexual liberation. Doesn't matter. Then you wonder why when you get pregnant, you're off to the parent place. Anyway, that's another video. Uh, and when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was pleasant in her eyes, and the tree to be desired to make one wise, she took the fruit thereof and did eat. A lot of you don't understand what you've done. And this is why we do these videos, especially, you know, ultimately the elect, but even some of you sisters, to repent. And gave also unto her husband with her, and he did eat. So we can see this in Jeremiah 44, going to the time of Babylon, and today. How Jake is subscribing to the philosophy of Eve supremacy, right? White supremacy, Eve supremacy, feminism. And the eyes of them both were open and they knew that they were naked. And they sewed fig leaves together and made themselves aprons. So you get the point. Let's go to Malachi, uh, Mark 7 to 21. For from within, out of the heart of men, proceed evil thoughts, adulteries, fornications, and murderers, thefts, covetousness. Have you not read Habakkuk second? Now, if this judge had came into the truth, you can't serve two masses, but she knew the truth. She knew about Habakkuk the second chapter, knew about Obadiah, right? Knew about Jeremiah 51, Isaiah 31. We can go on Revelation 18, all the scriptures. Uh, we can quote 50 scriptures, right? Proverbs 16, you know, Isaiah 45. Okay? Then you would start seeing. Then you can see. You can even go into the Apocrypha, Sirach, the 12th chapter. You know, 2nd Ezra. You can see all the truth. And then you would know what's going on right but they don't know what's going on why because as the book of Isaiah I believe 31 says woe to them to go down for Egypt they trust in the chariots they trust in uh, oppression right blasphemy pride it says thefts covetousness wickedness deceit lavishnesses and evil eye blasphemy pride and foolishness now everything that the Edomians have done you Eves, I'm talking about in the majority, have subscribed to it. You know, the ones that are blinded, 
They have subscribed to it. And because they are the weaker flesh, the weaker vessel, right? And because they're faithless, they're not going to see it until the right time to see it. This is what I don't get about the equality thing. You know? How the hell are you equal? But at this time, this woman, this happens, and she says, I couldn't even get out of bed. A man wouldn't have felt that way. That wouldn't have happened with a man. Not likely anyway. <laughs> I don't know about today's men, but not likely. We'd have been going off. You didn't see Terry Crews say the next day, I just couldn't get up out of the bed. I felt violated. Which the Lord does all things. Jeremiah 4 and 30. When, and when thou spoiled, what will thou do? Though thou clothest thyself with crimson, though thou deckest thee with ornaments of gold, though thou makest thy face with paintings, and vain shalt thou make thyself fair, thy lovers will despise thee, they will seek thy life. You can't get any more clear than that and match this with the Bible. For I have heard a voice as a woman in travail, and the anguish of her that bringeth forth her first child, the voice of the daughter of Zion, that bewaileth herself, that spread of her hand, saying, Woe is me now, for my soul is weary because of murderous. That's pretty much to the point. That's all I have on that. Shalom.